Hey everybody, Anish Majumdar here, career coach to the fiercely ambitious. This video I'm telling you right now is going to be short, sweet, but if you take what I'm about to tell you here to heart, it is going to completely change how successful you are, whether you're in job search mode right now, whether you're dissatisfied right now with where you are and you want something better, or whether you're somewhere in between, okay? It is the number one thing that we forget whenever we're out there in the marketplace. The first thing that goes, and it is the most important thing to remember. And let me clue you into what that is, okay? How many of you have had the experience of when you were a kid growing up, you just assumed that your parents knew everything, right? I mean, they were the center of your world, mom, dad, whatever that was, right? They, you know, made the rules, they told you when to go to bed, right? They told you, you know, when it was time to brush your teeth, when it was time to go to school. They told you and they showed you at least or tried to how to solve problems, how to move forward, right? How old were you as an adult when you realized that they didn't know what they were talking about most of the time and that like most adults, they're just making it up and using their instincts as best they can. How old were you when that happened? For me, you know, I had kind of crazy parents, right? So I learned that pretty young. You know, it is one of my blessings is that even before I, I should have been thinking like this, I was like, you know what? You don't have to listen to anything. Like whatever advice your dad gives you, do the exact opposite of that and it, and it ends up being the right one, which is still the case, by the way. Uh, so so it, it didn't take me long, but we all have that moment. If you're, if you're growing normally, you're going to have a moment where you're going to realize, oh my God, maybe you have kids right now. You know, I've got three, me and my wife. I think about that all the time. It's like, look, you can read as many books as you want. For this child in this moment, in this case, I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll do the best that we can, right? We'll do the best that we can. We don't know. The same thing is true, and I want you to really hear me here. The same thing is true out there amongst companies. They don't know. The, oh, sure. They might tell you, oh, we've got a worked out process. We've got a very standardized hiring process, blah, blah, blah. We've got this, our retention rates are the best in the industry, blah, blah, blah. We have a way of doing it. But for this situation that they're in, to hire and solve this particular pain at this juncture in time, they don't know. They can rely on things that worked in the past. That's not the same as knowing. So here's what you guys all need to remember absolutely everything in hiring is a negotiation, not just the offer. I mean, every time someone asks you to do anything, it's a negotiation. Anytime someone asks you to go down this road of thought when it comes to your previous di your experience, it's up to you to decide whether or not you want to engage with it that way, whether you want to draw focus to what's more relevant, whether you want to shut that down because you know that that's not going to help or add uh, anything except insecurity to it. It's a negotiation. If someone calls you and says, hey, are you available right now? You're not obligated. You don't work for this company, okay? You're a free agent, which means you get to do whatever the heck you want to do, and you should be acting in a way that only supports who you are. You're never doing anything that actually sabotages you, obviously, right? So if you were to look at the whole game that way, like, nope, you don't need to... Um, dialogue with just the recruiter of a company. You can dialogue with the CEO of that company if you want to. Nope, you don't need to sit and a answer a bunch of gotcha questions. You can have your own questions and actually take control of this thing and say, why are you guys you know, doing this? Because I've seen, you know, I saw a job posting for this role five months ago. So either you guys have hired someone that didn't work out or you guys are back in, in, in the mix or you've never been able to find it. What do you think because you've been engaged in it? What's the big snafu here? What's going on? How can I help? I don't think that's pertinent, right? You can move any piece of that over where you know. Oh, um, you know what? I, I just had an interview. The polite thing to do is to follow up with them a week from now. Nope. Follow up two days from now. Let them know that you're about to accept an offer and you wouldn't feel good about it unless you had a chance to seriously look at this and, and see if there's an opening here because of X, Y, and Z. And by the way, these problems that we've identified, they're not going anywhere. So please, you should not be thinking about a long drawn out hiring process. Someone needs to go in there starting it, right? What's to stop you from sending that email out today to everyone you've been meeting to politely follow up with? There are no unwritten rules, guys. When you come across something that works, all the rules should go right out the window. When you come across someone that you uh, are falling in love with, 
please stop playing the relationship games, okay? One of the only reasons I was lucky enough to marry my wife is that like a week into our dating, I was like, can we just stop? I don't even know what the hell the games are. You know what I mean? Can we just hang out? We seem to like each other. Can we just let that part go? Like, I'll call you, you call me, I'll be open to it. There's not going to be any delays and we're not going to be keeping score. Is that okay? And luckily, luckily, because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Luckily, she said yes. Right? And the story continues. Well, the same thing is true here. And what employers want is someone who isn't just going to sit there, shut up and do everything that they tell them. They're not looking for an employee at this moment. That's not what they're looking for. They, in fact, don't know what they're looking for. But we know when we find it, right? And one of the markers is someone who is capable and strong enough in themselves to treat the entire thing from first meeting all the way to negotiated offer like what it is. Everything you give me is a suggestion. And because it's coming from a company, changes not one iota. It's a suggestion. That's all. It's up to me to decide. Is this going to suit my purposes? Is this going to advance things forward? Is this going to move into an area that we shouldn't be thinking about at the cost of something else that is? Is this a deflection? Right? It's up to us to decide. And based on what we do in that moment, we're showing people the caliber of our character and our um, capability. We're not talking about it. We're not trying to convince. We're showing. So that's what I want each and every one of you, okay, to remember Okay, because it's the easiest thing that we forget because we want to, in an uncertain situation, right? We want to be a kid again, right? We want to have like some kind of parental authority, company authority. You, we want, even if, we, if it's not going well, we want to know that someone is in charge, right? Some parent is in charge. You're the parent. You're the one who's in charge. This is your career. You determine what you do and what you don't do, okay? And I really want each and every one of you to remember that and keep going back to the well. No one says you can't. The rules are being made up as they go along. And what employers love is someone who not only knows him or herself, but someone who can run in advance of them. They can pick out on what's going on. Boom, let's talk about the end result. We don't need a third um, interview with Mr. Joe Schmo HR. We don't. Now is the time we need to think about an offer and how quickly we can ramp this up. And I think we've covered all of the, the necessary bases. So if you're okay with it, why don't we make that the focus of our final conversation? Right? That's the difference. Right? Run ahead of it. Take ownership of it. And remember that each and every piece of it is a negotiation and should be treated as such. Okay? Talk to each and every one of you soon. If you haven't been there in a while, I encourage you to hop over to helloanish.com, H-E-L-L-O-A-N-I-S-H.com. You can go down the rabbit hole of other career trainings that I've put together. Um, tips, advice, you are not going to find anywhere else. Trust me. We take great pride in not being like anybody else out there, especially those gray-haired, out-of-date um, frauds who are in the industry selling the same old crap right now, even post pandemic, knowing that it's not going to work. Okay. Job seeking as normal will not work in this environment. You owning your power, your authority and doing it a different way will. If you are curious about that, hello, Anish should be your next stop. Okay. Talk to you soon.